Good morning, it's about eight o'clock and finally after more than two years at a Las Vegas buffet. This is the Wicked Spoon, this is their breakfast. Let's see what's changed. Round one. I do like the fact that a lot more things are coming in like individually wrapped, sealed containers. So this is my dirty rice. So what they call dirty rice, it's just dry rice. How's the ribs? Kind of dry. We are dating. So I already told them. Well, that's a different video. Some people might be watching this new video. They don't know. You were here last time, right? Like a year ago. Was breakfast 40 something dollars? I thought breakfast was like $20, but now it's like 40, how much should we pay, like $42? I don't know if that happened before the pandemic or after, because I was here about a year ago. I don't think it was this much before. Char snow peas is good. So this is their hot pot slash Thai curry. It smells not very curry-y, but let's see. This is not that good. It's spicy, but it's got no flavor. I'd rather go back to my typical fried rice. Right, it just tastes like coconut milk and no flavor. So far, the best thing on my plate in round one are these peas, are these snow peas. Round two, I am really excited about this. I remember last time my favorite thing on a buffet, the bone marrow. They got that for breakfast right here. It's one of the only things I truly care about in this buffet. Bone marrow mixed with beef. Awesome. The meat's still a little dry, but this is by far the best thing I have so far. That is so good. Mmm. Idea. Let's make our rice truly dirty. So much better. This rice was just really plain to go Chinese restaurant fried rice before. No, no, this is dirty fried rice. Try this. So much better, right? Eh? Am I still chewing? It hasn't like went down even a little bit. Like I'm not, I'm not kidding. I don't feel like the food has been broken down, maybe even 10%. There's so much tendon in here. That's horrible. How could it be this tough? Excuse me. Oh, that was not a good experience. Oh, please tell me this fried chicken is gonna be better. This is all right. I feel like my expectations have gone down dramatically for the food items on this buffet. This is so much better than the steak I just had which I'm pretty sure has some rubber in there. It's actually pretty good. I happily report that the fried chicken is very edible. Pretty sure Egg Benedict's not supposed to taste like that. I think that Eggs Benedict has been friends with that piece of steak way too long because it's really learned how to be tough. First time I've ever seen a pig's trotter on a Vegas buffet. And I just wanna say, however this tastes, I commend the Wicked Spoon for bringing something this authentic onto the buffet. Thank you so much. Maybe this is better fresh out of the oven. With that said, a lot of the food I ate today seem to share a common characteristic. Super, super tough. The flavor is pretty good. They put honey on this. It's kind of a unique take on a pig trotter, but this is a, a tough pig trotter. I don't think it's as tough as a steak. Oh my gosh. This is the angry mac and cheese. Poke it. What, what did you just do? Wow, that is unfortunate. <laughs> I got one of these things too. Oh, it's, it's gooey on the inside. It seems so promising because it's still cheesy and gooey inside. They burnt it. Otherwise though, the flavor is really good, but it's burnt. It's 100% burnt. Mine's crunchy. 
Yours is crunchy. I mean, the flavor I really like because they put a lot of spice in here. But first thing that hits your taste buds is you taste something that's really burnt. Yeah, that's not really edible. First day back at the buffet. This is the grits. Oh my goodness. I'm really not trying to pick on this buffet. I like buffets. No, no, no. I love buffets. I came to Vegas every year for buffets. But I'm not gonna tell you guys something that's good when it's not. And this is not good. This is the grits. It's more like a, more like a pancake. Wow. I don't like wasting food, so I'm still gonna finish the mac and cheese and everything. But quality of the food here, at least everything I've tried so far, quality is not there. I'm gonna put a bunch of the bone marrow into the grits. See if it'll make it better. Bone marrow does help everything. All right, I don't know what's left. Let's go see. Finally, saving grace. Just is a good taco. Look how juicy it is. Meat is tender, spices, flavor, everything on point tortilla is tasty. This is good. Mmm, that is very good actually. I can't believe that's from a buffet. Smoked salmon is delicious. Dish in the bone marrow, best thing I've had so far. That's it for all the savory items I want. Time for dessert. I'm actually really excited about this. This is why I feel like I'm gonna make all my money back on this buffet. Nutella toast. Not too bad. I'm impressed at this point by Nutella and bread. I am really looking forward to this. Molten lava cake. I should've got some ice cream with this. Maybe when I go back for a refill on this. This looks good. Did you get the molten lava cake? That might be the best thing on this whole buffet. That is tremendously good. This is restaurant quality lava cake. And the cake itself is so gentle and fluffy and light. Mm. That is so delicious. So is this donut. Mm. This might be the best donut I've had in any buffet. If a donut shop opened and their donut was as good as this, I will frequent it often. Well, this is good. It was like a coconut yogurt cup. No, this is good. Look at Spoon's redeeming quality is 100% in this dessert. Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler's okay. Bread pudding is delicious. Yeah, molten lava cake, donuts. I'm gonna go back for more of that. You know what they say, if something works, don't fix it. If something tastes good at a buffet, get much more of it. Oh, this is amazing. Pistachio gelato, incredible. Dip it in some of that molten chocolate. Mm, good, huh? Amazing donut. You could just pop down your mouth, like, continuously. That's how good that donut is. There's custard in there, too. I mean, I've been to donut shops, like, that just do donuts. This is better than a lot of donut shops I've been to. Seriously, wicked spoon. Whoever is making your pastries. Bravo. Oh, this gelato is so creamy and smooth. This is awesome gelato. Started off a little disappointing. Cannot lie about that. Pretty strong finish. I don't know if it's worth $40 though. Would you would you come here again for $40? No. So this is considered, I guess, their brunch uh, buffet now. So that's why it's $40. You got a lot of more savory items. Honestly, if you guys really want to try this buffet, I mean, I might've just been having a personally random bad experience with some of the foods. I'm sure if like I got there when the mac and cheese was fresh and maybe not burned, it would have been different or the steak would have been cooked better. I don't know. This is just my experience. I didn't really like the savory items much. And I thought it wasn't nearly as good as when I was here last time. And for $40, honestly, you could go to the Border Grill. You can go for an all-you-can-eat Mexican brunch. I feel like that quality is much much better so yeah I'm not really worth what I paid for this buffet but if you do come bone marrow carnita tacos and of course the dessert and don't forget put the bone marrow on the fried rice trust me <sighs> how's that for a view
it's just surreal. Like every time I see it, it's just so surreal. I remember the first time I came here, I was in college. I was on a trip to the Malibu to help build houses. Um, and after, on the way back, we went through the Grand Canyon and just, it still doesn't look real to me. Only thing I wish I'd done today, I wish I ate before coming here. There's no food here. So I'm like starving and I'm just only filling my stomach with the view. Wow, there's a thunderstorm in the distance. Oh, you guys see the rain? There's the rain right there. It's raining right there. Hey, little guy. Thunderstorm's coming. Getting rained on a little bit right now. All right, on to the next destination. Wow, I've never seen this before. So these are the cliff dwellers stone houses. So people actually live here. I mean, how would you feel living underneath a big giant boulder like that? But this is it. This is so interesting. Look at this, look at that house. I've never seen this place before. It's actually my first time at the North Rim. So this is a really cool place to, to stop and, and explore. Unfortunately, sun's gonna set and I gotta get to Horseshoe's Bend next time. Wow. This is just, oh, how amazing is this? There's dust storms whipping sand in my eyes, but it's worth it just to see this. 50% off stake after I think 8 p.m. or something like that to close. And right now it's about 12.30 a.m. Jammed, packed in there. I really want 50% off my stake too, but that's way too many people for me. So I'm gonna show you guys another late night Vegas cheap eats secret. So there's a ton of late night specials around Vegas. 10 ounce top sirloin steak, $7.99. And this is the best deal. Steak and eggs, 11 p.m. to 11 a.m., $6.99. That's what I'm going for. All right, well, they wouldn't let me get anything to take away and it was really packed in there. So I think I'm good. It's a little late, it's about 1 a.m. I got a flight early tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna go and uh, call it a night, even though I'm hungry. But if you want $6.99 steak and eggs, that's the place to get it. I thought I could just go to the hotel and go to sleep. It's too hungry. So this is the only place that's open around Chinatown. Ramen show, homemade noodles, okonomiyaki. Hmm, <laughs> not too bad. Bonito flakes and an egg on top, that's new. I've got to eat quick because I only have about five, six hours of sleep before I have to get up for the flight. So this is the sukkaman, it's pretty good. This is really good. This is very good. Noodles taste fresh. They taste homemade. Very, very al dente. The broth, rich and thick, got that nice anchovy flavor to it. Hmm, yeah. what is it like $10, $11 for this? Okonomiyaki is delicious too. This is a really good place. I was just looking for anything that was open. I just want to take a couple bites of anything to go to bed, but wow, this is excellent. Hmm. That sure is nice and smoky. Start of the show though, 100% these noodles and this broth. Hey, this broth reminds me of my favorite sukumen place in, in Tokyo. I'm surprised I've never been to this place before. This is absolutely delicious. You like sukumen, right? No, I never had it. You never had sukumen before? No. During our time together, like you tried bami, you tried sukumen. Just opening up a whole different like world of food with this relationship for you. <laughs> Maybe I should be charging you uh, like a food tour guide <laughs> fee or something. Oh, we're in the mood for ramen. 100% come and try this place out. And this is a perfect good night meal for me. All right, 
See you in the morning. Oh, I just got off the flight. This is my first meal of the day. I had no idea where to go, so Eden Center just kind of popped in my head. So here I am. I just want a bowl of stir fry noodles. I can't even think straight right now. I don't think I've been more hungry in my life. I didn't want to eat anything on the plane. It's now 7.30 p.m. local time. This first meal of the day. Crispy noodles with, with seafood. Mmm, so good. Mmm, finally feel alive again. Must be even better with some spice. I always forget to bring my hot oil after a flight. This is the shaken beef. Mmm. Shaken beef is good too. Mmm. Oh, I love this place. Mmm. Try the chicken beef. Really good too. Both of us, we haven't eaten since I uh, got off the flight. Well, this is just like primal basic instincts showcasing. We got food all over the table, just stuffing it all into our face. Do you feel finally alive? Like, mm -hmm. like we were just been, we just been like sitting on that flight and nothing to eat and finally getting here one luggage was lost I had to go through that whole process mm. this is your favorite mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so good a little spice i'd be in heaven right now i'm already in heaven but higher level of heaven that exists Spicy heaven. Oh, that's pretty. In DC to attend a prayer. So every year around 720s, uh, July 20th, 1999 is when the persecution of Falun Dafa began. If you don't know, Falun Gong is a meditation exercise that I practice that's helped me immensely in my life. When I was going through just such deep depression, one of the biggest reasons I'm still here today is a meditation exercise based on truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. And 1999, July 20th, when uh, there was a huge crackdown on anybody who practiced it. So every year around July 20th, practitioners would go to DC and raise awareness about the human rights atrocities that's still going on in China to this day. So that's why I'm here and that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So this is what I do every year around July. I'm here, sit, light a candle for all those who have lost their lives. Not just Falun Gong practitioners, but anybody who's facing persecution just because they want to have and exercise their basic human rights. Freedom of speech, freedom of beliefs, freedom just basic freedoms. And I talk about this because a lot of times whatever happens in China doesn't get reported in the media. So just trying to do my part to bring to light the atrocities that's still happening in China right now. And you don't have to believe me, you can just go Google China organ harvesting, look up all this information for yourself. I'm gonna continue to do what I can and I'm gonna continue to talk about it. I went to the airport today because today I'm flying to Dallas. I'm flying back to Dallas from Washington, D.C. Can anybody know if this ever happened to, to you guys? Because this is so freaky. This is incredibly freaky. So last night, I'm trying to figure out what time I have to get up. So I'm looking on my uh, United app to see when this flight was. And it said 11.30 a.m. So I'm like, okay. So go to bed, wake up in the morning, went to the airport. On the way, check the flight time again, just to double check. There was no reservation available. So then I freak out, I'm like, it's, did I book it under United or American? Did I, did I, I'm absent-minded. So I'm checking all these apps and nah, reservation doesn't exist. Get to the airport and go in asking them, does this reservation exist? They said, no. How did I get 11.30 PM last night then? How, how did I see that? This is either me getting like early, I don't know, early dementia or something, or is the Mandela effect. And like, that was like a whole different dimension. If you don't know what the Mandela effect is, I'll link a video down below for you, but something, something, something happened. Just saying, I'm kind of happy now, because now I get to eat, I was starving. Of course, my last meal in DC has to be Ethiopian food. Has to be Ethiopian food. Christine, you never had Ethiopian food before. 
Try it. Try the injera. I love injera. This is a vegetarian one. This is a. Uh, what is this? Mmm. Oh, this is so good. This is all vegetarian. Yeah, this is injera in the middle, like sauteed injera. Mm. And then eggs on this side. Mmm. Mmm. There's no meat in here, but I'm loving it. These eggs are so nice. <laughs> Like the eggs? I love this. Whatever this green is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love all this. Yeah, like 70 dishes here. I'm gonna come back and just try all of them. And owner Bim, such a nice guy. Dish. Some mint tea. I'm glad I hallucinated my flight and I don't have to leave for another few hours. I'm glad. Imagine leaving without eating here one last time. Don't want to fathom it. Aren't you glad you ate here? It all happens for a reason. It all happens for a reason, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, man. Right, take, take care. Wow. So this is my second attempt at going to the airport and flying out of here. I should have left earlier. This stuff just came down hard. Whoa, major thunderstorm right now. Flight might even be delayed, we'll see. I've been checking my uh, flight updates every five minutes just to make sure I wasn't hallucinating my flight time. I hope I'm not. Dallas, home sweet home. I really need to go get something to eat. It's windy out here. It's about midnight. This place is still hopping. There's a, there's a speaker playing. There's a nightclub vibe here in the parking lot. There's some runaway dish carts over there. Some Asians sitting around having a good time. Pretty fun. I've been wanting to come here, actually. So they got skewers, they got noodles, got a bunch of bowl, and a stomach that hasn't been filled since about 10 a.m. Since about 10 a.m. So a little hungry, a little more hangry. Hmm. I think there's a leak somewhere. Oh, here it is. That's a lot of leaks. I never just have flat out grilled leeks before. This is pretty good. It's spicy, it's got a lot of cumin, beef tendon. Mm, I like this. Christina, have you had leeks before? Like just grilled leeks? Never had it like that before, right? Oh, I'll try it. This one, a mix of lamb and beef and enoki mushrooms. This place is pretty good. I like it. Try the beef tendon. Not the most tender thing, but flavor is really good. I thought they were going to cook it with, with cumin. Oh, they did. They toasted this with cumin. Oh, lamb ribs. Oh, oh, this is juicy. I like this, good barbecue, plus you get to eat outside. Not feeling like my life source is slowly coming back into my body. What do you think of the noodles? My hot oil? That's the correct answer. It does need some hot oil. My hot oil. <laughs>